I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural Hello? beauty of this I planet. didn't realize Kiwi was letting people in here. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. What's the good word? That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems... agreeable. Is that all? I'm not sure what we can spare. I'm thinking. Perhaps there are resources in storage we can scrounge up or recycle. I try to be. Tell you what, talk to Daisuke and he'll get you what we can spare. If you succeed, we'll see about finding some other ways to repay you as well. Thank you. Until next time. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Oh, right -o. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship then. Never seen a ship like yours before. We were never trained to address threats. Strict rules around.
incredible. The air, oh, it's so. Not in a bad way. So this is what fresh air is like. I could get used to this. Thank you again for making this all possible. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we, we might still be stuck up there. Once again, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your name will go down in our history books. You will always be welcome as a friend to our people. I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Guess we're tabling it for now. Let's circle back around ASAP, though. Wow. Hi. seen a ship like yours before. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. What's not to Whoa. love about this Did you see land? those bloody fireworks way up in this guy? The tourists think we set him off, but I don't know where they came from. Oh, amazing! I mean, that is quite an unfortunate tragedy. It's best not to dwell on it, though. On the bright side, our issue seems to be solved. Of course, any sum I give you will be nothing compared to what it would have cost to let the situation linger. I won't even ask how you did it. The important thing is you got the job done. In addition, I'd like to extend to you unlimited use of our resort. Well, there are some limits, of course, but you know how it is. <laughs> Lawyers, am I right? Anyway, enjoy and have a good eye. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech? 
He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. We got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again.